this is Arthur Nix, and today I'm going to talk about a tool that perhaps a lot of you have not seen before, and it's checklist. And check, checklist in any type of an estimating uh, workflow is important, and I've heard a lot of people say, well, I can't get the estimators to do that, and I say, well, that's because you probably don't have a checklist that they're required to go through. And uh, checklists are very important. It's a good way to conform the estimating process. Uh, truthfully, uh, I think HCSS could develop this feature out a little more, but if more people were using it, then maybe this can uh, also be improved too. So let's go take a look at it and see if uh, maybe you could use this in your workflow. First of all, it's under File, Checklist. So I check it. It is... It is, uh, you know, estimate specific, and here you have uh, two that are come with heavy bid, the master estimate setup, and the typical steps in making estimates. So the idea of this was to come through your your uh, estimators would check this, and of course, if it's a multi-user system, this is not. Uh, you would have a user number here, and there are some filters that are available so that you could filter this out. You could see, well, okay, what's checked, what's unchecked, uh, time and dates. Uh, you could use this as a filter. Um, and you can also come down here and set up defined labels. So you could have up to three text labels and two number labels and then the flag. So, uh, you know, so pretty cool here. A lot, uh, lot of ways that you can customize this. You can also, of course, customize your view. And these are the assigned to and the priority and the due date are automatically in there. You don't have to use up one of your text or your numbers for that. So there you go. And, uh, and then this would be, you know, you would develop this in your master estimate so that you could use it in all the estimates that are copied from the master. So now you can go ahead and set up new ones. You could just type in, you know, I'll just call it new list, new list, and there we go. And then you could go down and start doing, uh, you know, making up a new list here. So I would encourage you to think outside of these two that come with heavy bid and perhaps just go ahead and create your own. So how do you create your own? Well, the best way to do it is in Excel, of course. And so I'm going to post on my blog site uh, this in, in a blog post, this Excel spreadsheets. I would encourage you to review it carefully, uh, revise it, and then come back and, uh, you know, import it in. And remember, import is a way, uh, you know, is it merged. Uh, so if you, as long as you keep the same number here, the item number, then these will be revised when you import it in from Excel. So there's actually a two-stage import. You first bring in the checklist code, and then you bring in the checklist items. If you've never done an import in from Excel in HeavyBid, it's pretty easy. You just want to make sure that you save this, save whatever tab you're going to bring in first, and then uh, you once you do that, then you import this, and then you would save this tab right here, so that heavy bid sees that tab. So let's go and import this in. So first thing I'm going to do is get out of here, exit that. I'm going to go to Exchange, Excel, Database. I'm going to come here. You see that it is estimate specific because it's in this first section, not my system wide data. I'm going to check on checklist right now. Now, that could be the category. These will be the items. So I have to do this first before I can do that. I just click OK. I go ahead and browse out. And I put this on my desktop. And let's go down here and find it. And there it is. All right. So I come in here. Give it a second, it opens it up, and you can see that it, I know that I've done this correctly because over here I see I have in A, I got my checklist code, and B, I got my description. So let's try this out. I'm going to go A, and I'm going to go B. 
and I check this off that the first row contains titles. I go ahead and import. And it'll probably give me a message here that do you want to override. Yeah, so you can see here that it does replace the record. So I'm going to say yes to all. All right, so that's done. Now I'm going to do the second part, which means I got to go into the spreadsheet and check on the other tab. So what I'm going to do is open up that spreadsheet. So here's the spreadsheet again. There's my checklist items you can see here. And then I'm going to save it, close it. I should be able to go back here and refresh. It opens it up. I got a little impatient there. And there's the second. So I come back up here and I come back to my checklist. Now I'm on checklist items. I just got to be sure to check that. Now you can see here, I can, I can bring in any of these fields right here. More than likely, I'm just going to bring in from the spreadsheet these three items, A, B, and C. I do my import. I'll probably get the same message again. Yes to all because 40 already exists. And now let's go look at it. So I come up here to file, checklist, items, and there they are right there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and post these items on the blog. Uh, but I'm also going to be revising these, maybe, come, maybe thinking about a way to sort these. I haven't thought about this before. But maybe sort this in type of a priority or a timeline. Um, so, you know, like I said, I haven't decided yet. There's the new list that I created a minute ago. Uh, here's some steps that I did where you can, if you win, if you are awarded or low bidder, then you can come through this checklist kind of like uh, conforming the estimate type of a checklist. Um, but what I do, I just encourage you to take the spreadsheet, go through it item by item, and really come up with your own list. And I'll continue to work on this list also and maybe get some ideas from you all. And uh, we can come up with a really good checklist that you will use, uh, you know, with your workflow in uh, heavy bid. So I'd encourage you to, to take a look at checklist really incorporate this into your workflow, uh, you know, make it more uh, of a tool, maybe, you know, that's not onerous or bothersome, but one that you could really use. Again, this is Arthur Nix with EWKS. I'm a heavy bid contract trainer. And if you're interested in me coming into your office and uh, doing a training or looking at your estimating workflow, then uh, certainly uh, please contact me.